Hello everybody, this is Budridge and let's continue with our Hugo project here. Let me just close the window so we get less noise. There. Alright. Um, and in this video we, we start looking at uh, yeah, a bunch of things at the same time because that's that's how it will be kind of during this uh, Hugo series uh, because to understand how to build a static site you first have to know how to build a static site it's it, it it's a lot about and uh, um, recursion and um, yeah you get the meme maybe whatever uh, I strongly recommend starting reading this page uh, introduction to Hugo templating because this is what it's all about is using these templates and how they work and, and this uh, even if it is confusing if you come come from start from scratch it, it, it this is the place to start in my opinion and it's a quite long uh, uh, page here but with a lot of, of examples so it's good and, and I I kind of recommend that you just try these examples out and, and see what happens uh, on your site but whatever let's see what we can do with this here is uh, um, the project that we have created currently it's uh, empty we don't have anything we don't have any posts or anything or I actually have this post directory now because I was doing some testing so let's start uh, by adding a post or two here so Hugo new and also we should make sure that we are in the right directory here git uh, badlabs hugo the root of, of, of the project this directory so the command hugo new and then we say posts uh, uh, and then we can say one post or whatever dot md there that created one post there and then we can do another post dot md just so we have two of them they both look identical except for different titles and slightly different uh, time of course both uh, have the draft key here set to true and this part here that is what's referred to in the documentation as the front matter uh, where you can define some some basic variables kind of for for the page that you want to to render late later okay and then let's add some content uh, another uh, posts content one post Content, whatever we, we just need something so we can test this you know um, all right and now if I execute the Hugo command here it will create a bunch of files here in our public directory um, the source of, of, of the page so to speak the stuff that you would like to, to upload but as you can see it just adds these uh, XML files uh, it actually adds one of these is an yeah this is an RSS feed it all it automatically creates that uh, by default uh, but there are no HTML pages at all here and that's because we don't have any layouts we don't have any templates um, so we could start by adding one uh, uh, sample tem template here so we add that to the layouts directory and there we can create one that's called index.html um, then we can just uh, type something this is the index.html template whatever save that and now if we execute the hugo command we will see in our public directory that we now have an index.html file here and 
Uh, th this is uh, one of the drawbacks with uh, working with Hugo is that you will get a lot of files with the same names in s almost the same. It, it can very easily get confusing uh, knowing exactly which file you have open and stuff, but whatever. And now if I open this is in, in the public and this is the layout. So, so it, they look exactly the same because uh, our, our layout here, it just have this string. Um, and the index.html uh, layout will generate the index.html file on, in the public directory. So this is like the, the main page, of course. Uh, but this is kind of useless. Um, so let's say that we would like to, to list, um, list all our articles that we have written here. And I, I have this prepared in my clipboard here. Uh, a little loop command. So the range command here is, is kind of, uh, yeah, you can, could think of this as a for loop. I think you can also write for, for loops, but this will uh, uh, loop all pages in the section posts. And it is this weird uh, uh, way of writing stuff um, in Hugo here. You write the function, or this is actually the function, where, and it takes these parameter parameters. So it is a bit uh, like Lisp, but without the parentheses sometimes, but it is weird, but this is how it is. Then to end this loop, we need to end, add this thing here. Um, and for each page it finds here now in the posts section, and this is a section. Every directory in the content directory is a section. So post is one section, it's the only section we have right now. Uh, and each of these pages uh, that it finds here, we can access that uh, by the, a, a dot. And then we could print one uh, a variable, for example, the title of each page here. So let's try this now and see what happens. See in the public. And here we can see nothing really happened. We got some more blank lines here. That's all we got because the, the blank lines uh, is these these and stuff. Um, but it didn't print any titles of our posts, and that's because they are drafts, and drafts are uh, by default uh, ignored when you execute the Hugo command. But if we set uh, another post here to to false instead. <coughs> Execute the command again. Now um, we should see two things. One is in the public. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, now we generated yet another XML, but also the index.html. Now it lists this uh, another post, the title of another post. And the title is, of course, this thing here. Not sure if we could. If date, if that will print the date here. Uh, let's see. We we'll change this to date instead. Just to test this. Mm. Yeah, and now you can see it lists the date with this weird stuff. But this is just so so it will get rendered properly in as HTML, I believe or when we render the HTML. We could also, uh, if we wanted to print like the title and yeah, let, now since it's only one line stupid content here, uh, if we wanted to print also the content of, the, of that post, I think we can do this. Um, yeah, you see, I, I constantly choose the wrong uh, files here, but there's one variable called content. 
not 100% sure if this will work, but yes, now, now you can see it lists here another post content instead. And it have uh, enclosed it in, in uh, paragraph uh, HTML tags here. And uh, if we also add some, some more markdown here, for example, a code block, and maybe uh, some bold text here, and maybe a header. You will see that it will, uh, 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 yeah, I think you get it. That, no, it have translated that markdown into HTML here now. Okay, uh, don't really know if you understand what I'm trying to do here, and I'm not sure I do either. But uh, we don't want to just have a page here that lists uh, the content of every single post. That's, uh, that's not what we want. Let, let, let's just create a list here of all pages and uh, with links. So we could click the, the links and then go to each page. Um, yeah, let's see if that works here now at all. Perma link is, is a variable that will give us a link to the page, but I'm not sure we, this will work now when I think about it. Well, it did, let's see what link. No, it works. But another post doesn't really exist because this is just uh, the index layout here. That is just the layout for the index. What the, it's a, it's a special layout here because this is only rendered once or processed once for the whole site. Uh, but then we can also add uh, this. Yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, is it default or defaults? We'll sheet here and look at the... No, it's default. And then single dot html this this will be the template that we will be used for single pages for example uh, one of the articles here and the default here means it will use this for any section i could also name this directory post and then it would only use this template for posts but let's use default here for now i know that that was almost uh, a bit out of scope for the video here now, but whatever. Uh, but single is for single pages and list, that would be the template that would be used for uh, the section itself, because this could also be used to render a list for only, or a page for that section. As you, as you can hear here, it, it's like you have to understand how Hugo works to understand how it works. But whatever, let's do this now. We create this single uh, layout template and there we can just uh, type content. So this would just render that uh, uh, or generate the HTML based on the markdown. And just so you follow here, now we have here, let's let's close all the directories so it's easier to, to follow. Now we have in the layouts directory, we have one uh, uh, layout for the index page and we have one default single page here that only contains this uh, variable here. And this uh, layout template will be applied to every single single page here. But right now we only have one single page because it's only one of them that is uh, have a draft set to false here. Hugo, looking at the public. Uh, and now we can see another post have its own, uh, its own directory and its own index page. And that means uh, if you know some HTML, then you know that you could access index page, you, you never need to write index.html. So we could write just a URL, you know, uh, budlabs-hugo.com or .io slash another post, and then it would, or posts another post. We don't need to, to write the index.html, making, giving us nice URLs for later, but that's also maybe a later topic here. 
now we can also see this page here um, and let's try this now I, I'm not sure how this would work either if we if we um, do the Hugo server command here instead oops control G Y boink boink yeah, now you can see this is the page. Uh, this is the uh, index.html that we have rendered, but uh, we, we don't have any markup or HTML here. So if we wanted this to be somewhat useful, um, we need to add some, some HTML to our template. We could start by, by just doing a, a header here. Um, And then we could do something like a uh, equals this title. And then do a line break. Now you see, I, I changed the, the layout here. I don't need to restart the server or anything, I believe. Now it looks like this, and we got a, got a link here, another post, and it takes us to that page. And here we can also see the URL pointing, pointing to this location. Uh, and So this is one side of Hugo. The other side is like the first video where I showed you uh, when we just built the theme really quickly there with a the quick start to import a pre-built theme and everything looks so easy. But uh, it is not easy. Uh, it is... You kind of need to, to experiment uh, quite a lot yourself and just see what happens when, when you do things uh, uh, to... to, to let, let's uh, create undraft this one too. Uh, false. So now we have two posts. And then I'm not sure if this. Yeah, now we have both uh, links here. And another post. Um, Okay, uh, let's see, it's 18 minutes. And the layouts here now, we have added them uh, in the, le le let's end the, stop the server here. We could also do Hugo one more time, just to see, see the, the rendered HTML. Now it looks like, like this generated from this code and right now it almost looks stupid you know it's like more lines in this this file than it is in the rendered rendered one but uh, imagine when you get more posts uh, you, it will yeah whatever you get that um, but uh, we, we we now add these layout files and stuff uh, directly here under the layout directory in in the root uh, yeah you know this directory in in the root of, of the um, site project here but we could also instead of putting it here we could add them to our theme directory here you know the bla blht uh, directory here um, and how that works is yeah let's let's just do that. I will move these files now, our templates, uh, into the blht theme directory here. And now if I try to to uh, if I generate a page again here now now I'm not sure how this will look like here. Because if I'm not mistaken, it will keep these old. Yeah. 
when you execute the Hugo command, it will just generate the new files. It will not remove any old files from the public directory here. And that, that is uh, very good to understand that. So, so it's a very good idea, in my opinion, when, when you want to deploy a site, when you want to do this, to first clear the public directory. Uh, so creating an alias that, or, or a function or a script or something that first uh, remove all files from public directory and then generate the site again. Um, there, now it's clean and if I generate it here we will see now we don't have the HTML uh, pages at all because now we have the layouts in our theme instead. Uh, and, and to use this theme, we, we need to tell um, Hugo here in, in our project uh, configuration, which theme we are using. Theme equals, and then the name of the theme is the same name of the directory here, BLHT. Uh, and then let's clean the public directory again and generate it again now. And now it should look the same with, with the. No. Ah, uh, I, I know what it is. We, we put uh, these files, uh, they need to be in, in a directory called layouts. And this is also something that is really confusing in the, in the beginning, uh, that some directories, this is named layouts with an S, plural, and some are not plural, and, and this is very it's kind of easy to get it wrong and it also is uh, important and same thing here posts uh, it's important that that it's named posts and not posts and stuff it's yeah you have to know how it works uh, to know how it works but i'm just saying so now uh, it should work here to render with our theme and now I forgot to clean the public directory first so let's do that and then Hugo and you see 9 milliseconds it's it's ridiculous but now uh, we got the exact same result uh, and I will try to, to to use this this way instead separate these things adding the templates and stuff into the themes uh, directory instead of adding it to the roots directory uh, but uh, if we add uh, uh, like this index.html uh, template here, if we would have that at both locations, uh, ah, it's the old one from cache there. Uh, this is the one in uh, root of uh, project and it doesn't have any any loop or anything yeah so I guess that's enough and let's clean the public directory again and then um, execute the Hugo command and see what happened here um, in our public directory, we look at the index.html, it, it rendered some index.html and it did use the one that was in the root directory. So those files have priority, but it will still, it have still uh, rendered our, these ones and these uh, pages uh, are, are, you, are, are rendered by using the theme, uh, theme template here, here, the single. This is a theme template. Now, uh, public here, posts, another post we look here, we see we got the HTML, we also got this, and this is, uh, is from the themes template single.html file here. 
but it never uses this index.html because that already exists uh, in, in the root deal here. And we could also add like, yeah, yeah I see, I think you get, uh, see how it works here. If I would add uh, a default directory in, in this, this one here and create single.html, then it would use that instead. So you can have uh, multi dual theme layout stuff going on. And that's usually where I find myself when I uh, create Hugo sites. I maybe import a theme and then I start to, to have this double stuff and then then it gets even more uh, confusing. Everything is named index.html at like four different places and it gets like uh, very, very confusing to work with. So instead we keep it in our own uh, theme here. And of course it doesn't end here because you can use diff multiple themes. We could uh, uh, create another theme here, store it in the themes directory and then uh, add them as uh, you, you can have multiple themes here and then it will take them in order. First the root directory, then the first theme specified here and so on. And I didn't know about this till, till just before this video. I researched this a bit, uh, reading up on, on themes and templates here. But you can do that and I completely understand why that can be a good idea uh, as well later when we get into short codes and stuff. Um, but I think we end this video here. Um, now at least we, we are rendering pages here. Uh, they are uh, though uh, they don't have any layout or styling at all and it's also uh, it will work if we upload this to, to GitHub. Yeah, maybe I should push this up to GitHub now. Also uh, tested out this, I, I, I know I talked about it a bit, about uh, tagging uh, the repo here. And you can do that uh, and then, then you get like um, the state of the repository. But, but it, of course, were a bit weird with the sub-modules. So, whatever. And also tags, uh, git tags is the same thing as GitHub releases. So if you tag a, a, a commit, then you will automatically create a release. Um, and yeah, this will be something that uh, will grow. I haven't completely uh, decided exactly how it will be, but I, my, I think that this source repository will be the main repository I will link to in, in the show notes and then uh, I can create like links to the different releases or tags here or whatever. I know this is confusing stuff and that that is uh, uh, that is the world of web development uh, and just imagine this is like Hugo is a very uh, bare bones uh, static site generator. There are static site generators with, with like a React JavaScript focus, you know, that generates uh, uh, pages using React and then you have to keep the modules. It gets insane almost no matter what, what you do, you know. Uh, and yeah, as you can see al already, you kind of, in one way, you can just use a pre-built theme and write your documents in, in easy, nice markdown and don't have to bother at all about HTML or anything like that. But if you want to do anything at all, any customization at all, you, you kind of need to understand HTML and, and CSS and things like that. and on a quite good, uh, have a quite good understanding of how, how it works. As you, we will see here in, in upcoming videos. And, and this series is not, uh, it will not be like a tutorial in depth on how HTML and stuff works, uh, both because I'm, I'm no HTML wizard in any way. And also it, it is not that difficult, um, but whatever. But this is a way to just start learning learning that as well, just delving into. In one way, you shouldn't just do this if you don't... Uh, it, it will be very difficult if you have no web development experience at all. But 
how would you get web development experience? You have to start somewhere, and I suppose uh, it, it's not it's not the worst uh, uh, way to start. Even if you will get this static site mindset way of thinking of, of web pages, uh, because it's not really how how it works, but it kind of works. Whatever it's. It's complicated, but it's really fun when you get starting to work with this. And, and uh, Hugo and Static Site Generators, that, that have been very, very inspiring for me. Uh, this templating and stuff. Uh, if you know my, my Mondo project, for example, that uses uh, yeah I, some, a type of... of, of um, ah, that's right. Yeah, my, I have a repository, a, 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 a script that's called Mondo that generates yeah, themes and stuff for, for my uh, desktop and Linux and, and the polybar and everything. And that is extremely inspired by how Hugo and static sites work with the templates and, and, thing, and merging files and things like that. I don't know. Thank you for watching. Uh, next video we just keep on uh, trying to add some, some style to, to our pages here because we don't want it to look like this. Um, yeah, we just keep on building here and, and one day we will have a nice website. I don't know how many videos, how long time it will take and we will... I, I, I can assure you we will do some other stuff in between. Maybe the next video will not be on Hugo, I have some other things I would like to, to demo and talk about. Thank you for watching.